Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies and have ourselves some fun. Let's go. Welcome back, Movie Mom. We missed you and nobody went to the movies in Maine last week. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. Now, this week is all about comedies. We have two R-rated, very raunchy comedies. One with the boys, one with the girls. So it's a battle of the sexes at the box office. Entourage, the HBO series, has moved from TV to the big screen. Produced by Mark Wahlberg, based on some of his bad boy choices before he became a settled down, happy suburban father. This is a movie that is really for the fans of the show. Uh, I don't think it's going to make any new fans. I think a lot of people felt the show had more than run its course. It's kind of like one of Vince's parties. You're going to enjoy it at the time and then you're going to hate yourself afterward if you go to see this movie. <laughs> the chick flick is hilarious. Melissa McCarthy finally gets the movie she deserves in Spy. When I joined the CIA, I thought I was going to be this amazing spy. I'm just the same boring person I was before. You play it too safe. I just hear my mom's voice. Give up on your dreams, Susan. <sighs> just to write that in my lunchbox. Written and directed by Paul Feig, the guy that directed Bridesmaids and The Heat. This is such a funny movie. What's great about it is that Paul Feig clearly loves James Bond movies, and it's a love letter to them even as it totally shreds them. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy, for once, gets to play somebody who's not just funny and over the top, but also incredibly sweet and wonderful and capable. She just nails it. You do need to stay into the credits to see a little bit of extra stuff. I love that is that. worth waiting for. When you see Spy, there's a sort of a random moment where she's in Rome because this is a spy movie. So, of course, we have the scene where she gets all the cool gadgets, which is hilarious. And we have the scene where she has to break into a fancy party. And, you know, she has all these glamorous capitals of the world. So she's in Rome. And an American comes up and asks her for directions. That's her real-life husband. He was in Bridesmaids as well. He played the air marshal. And right. he was in The Heat, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He was in that. Oh, are they going to be yeah. one of those couples? Yes, they, they have to be in every movie. <laughs> Yeah. I kind of like that. I you know, love it. I have a question for you. Now, lately, it's come out in the news that she's lost a significant amount of weight. Does it show in the movie at all? No, that was after she made the movie. She's lost about 50 pounds. I hope she stays right there because she's great as she is and we don't want to fat shame her into doing anything different. As long as she's healthy, good for her. Let her be who she is. So the movie is great. I'm guessing that even though Entourage got a head start by opening up on Wednesday, that Spy will win at the box office. I hope so anyway. On DVD this week, we've got a good one for the family, McFarlane USA with Kevin Costner in this real life story. Coach who takes a group of undocumented kids from a high school and makes them into a state champion cross country team. It's a really Really nice movie. Kevin Costner is great in it. Next week, we've got a movie about some dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, Jurassic World opens up next week. Two weeks. I have seen it already. I am over the moon about the new Pixar movie. Inside Out, right? Yeah, Inside Out. I can't wait. I've already seen it. That's cheating. I have seen it. I'm hoping that by the time I talk to you about it, I will have seen it the second time. I loved it so much. Thank you so much, Movie Mom. It's great to have you back. You can catch this interview up at WJBQ.com, where we always have a link to MovieMom.com. Have a great weekend and never take another week off, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Let's all go to the